What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So while the crypto market really is moving like flat, right? It's not really moving up or down. It's plus or minus 1%, right? Um, while it's there, we have a lot of people that are mentioning what's going to happen with Jasmine Coin and how valuable this position will be for a normal investor, how valuable it will be. And for um, for all of us to look into a project and see so much success, we want to understand everything that's coming forward, right? That's going to happen in the future. And the main conversation is hovering around the fourth quarter lockup. Now, there is a lot that is unknown about this lockup. And a lot of people are throwing out numbers and, you know, figures and percentages, like they know exactly what's going to happen. And they're throwing out, um, you know, what the market cap will be exactly right after when that lockup does happen. But I wanted to kind of clear some things up and let you guys know that there's a lot that's not confirmed, right? There's a lot that we don't know, even though you see numbers that are floating around. Um, there is a lot that we don't know. So I wanted to talk about Jasmine coin, show you where the position is right now, and then ultimately talk about the lockup that we have. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon at Perry 8K. You can follow me over there. Don't forget to ask questions down below. I really do want to answer a lot of the comments, but there's a lot of, you know, scammers that are in the comment section. Um, people that are looking to push whatever they're looking to push. I don't really know. They just show up in all of my comments of every video. So beware of people that are impersonating me. I'm not going to ask you guys for any money. Um, to make you, I'm not going to ask you for BTC to give you 10 BTC. Like I'm not doing any of that. So make sure you guys are careful, everything that's going on in the comment section. Um, but let's talk about Jasmine coin. Let's show you where the position is right now, and then give you a breakdown or an understanding of what I see within the fourth quarter lockup here. So currently Jasmine coin is at about 37% of a penny. We're seeing it lower than the $200 million market cap, as well as the volume for 24 hours. It's at about $18.3 million. Volume to market cap ratio looks great. Um, obviously could look better. We would love to see it grow a lot more. Um, but 10% is where I like to see it for popularity. You know that there's a lot of people because of the amount of views that these videos get and the amount of traction, the amount of comments that these videos get, the amount of conversation that um, you know Jasmine Coin even mentioning it does get within live streams and videos shows the popularity of what this position actually is. We know that this can grow a lot further and be worth way more than the $200 million market cap. Um, I put out a video yesterday on my channel um, talking about how Jasmine Coin can get to a $50 billion market cap. And I really think that it can get to a $50 billion market cap. I really think that it's it's possible to see this thrive and you know really increase in the bull market. Because of, you know, one, like I said, the sector, the Internet of Things sector and understanding that side of it, but then also seeing the community that's behind it, the people that are looking to, um, you know, hold this position for a long time and understand what its actual worth actually is. Um, it just, it's just like light years ahead of so many other things. So I put out a video yesterday talking about how it could be worth a $50 billion market cap. And people today in the live stream said, hey, could you explain to people that we don't need to see a $50 billion market cap in order to see Jasmine Coin succeed or to see um, you know, it at certain prices, right? We don't need to see it at a $50 billion market cap. We could see it at a lot less. And honestly, that that is true. And I wanted to make sure that's known because they mentioned the, the lockup situation. Now, when it comes to the lockup, this is where a lot of people are getting confused because yes, um, you are going to have a fourth quarter lockup, but people don't know um, exactly what's going to happen during that lockup. They think that we're just going to see 70% that ends up just getting burned off or ends up getting locked up out of nowhere. That's not how this thing works, right? When you see a lockup, there are multiple ways that you could see a lockup. You could see it through the cryptocurrency project themselves and how much they do hold when things are not are, are fully in circulation, but uh, coins aren't being used. You know, you could see those coins that are held that could be locked up, right? That's one way that you can do it. Another way is by you know having um, the retail 
investors as well as institutional investors, people that are holding the project, lock up a portion of it for some sort of a feature or some sort of thing that does happen. Now, that's the way that I see that happening because I don't see a majority of it being held by, um, you know, uh, Jasmine coin. Um, but or the overall project, we can see that happening that way, which means that I, I don't really know exactly how or, or what it's going to be for, but retail investors and everybody that's involved is going to be a part of that lockup. Um, just like you would see, you know, coins that are not being used that are uh, being out there probably, um, you know, in the same boat in the same, uh, you know, area. So um, I wanted to let you guys know that it's not going to be something that happens right away, you know, and it's not going to be something where we're going to see all of them locked up in one or 70% that's locked up right now. Um, if we are going to see something like 70%, it would include, it would, it would take everybody in order to do such a thing. Right. Um, now another thing that they were saying is, uh, that a lot of people are throwing out there is the number, right? 70% or saying 35 billion or 40 billion, which is great to see, right? We would love to see that much being locked up, but it's going to be very difficult to be able to lock up that much again, all in one sitting. Um, and if we would see, you know, 70%, that would be fantastic, but let's not throw numbers out there and just assume that that's the case, right? Um, you could see up to that figure, but I would imagine you would see a little bit less. And that's why I've been throwing out numbers as we've had these videos, I've been throwing out numbers like, you know, 10, 20 billion that could be, um, you know, locked up, um, and seeing different ranges in there and seeing how people react to that, because, we don't necessarily know how much is going to be locked up. Um, but the point is, is that the lockup, whatever that ends up being, 5 billion, 10 billion, 20 billion, right? 35 billion, whatever it ends up being, know that it's going to affect the overall height of where the price can go. It doesn't mean that the price will be there because um, the, the you still have to see movement. You still have to see people purchasing it. Um, the purchasing it will have a lot bigger effect because you have a lower supply equaling a faster rise to the market cap. Um, so honestly, I think that we could see that happen. I could, we could see, uh, the price rise a lot faster. I said market cap, but I meant price. Um, we could see a faster rise to the price and see it at some of these levels. I've seen people talk about how, Oh, if we burn down 35 billion, or I keep saying burn, if we uh, lock up 35 billion, well, now we're going to see a $1 or $2 price. That's not confirmed that we're going to see a $1 or $2 price. We still have to see the bull market. We still have to see more investors. We still have to see what the lockup entails and as well as what the overall, um, you know, use is going to be, right? For, for everybody holding all investors that are involved into it, we have to see what everything's going to, or um, what will transpire with everything, right? I don't really know how to put that. Um, so there's so many things that do have to happen for us to see a dollar or $2, but we don't have to see a $50 billion market cap in order to see $1. But I do believe that it can be worth and should be worth that level um, when it comes to the market cap. So Hopefully this cleared things up, but it's not meant to for you guys to know exactly what will happen unless they were all going to tell us what will happen, right? Um, and we don't have that information. We're not going to uh, have that information for for a little bit and probably until we get very, very close to it or as it's happening. But know that it's not going to happen right away. We're not going to see it you know, just in the fourth quarter, boom, it's all the way down to 20 billion. No, it's probably going to be a gradual thing to where we see, you know, 1 billion that that luck gets locked up 2 billion, 10 billion that gets locked up. And we'll see it get to the level if we do get to 70 billion, it'll probably take a year for that to happen, right? I, I don't know exactly how long, but I want to make sure we um, have our expectations at a reasonable level. Does that make sense? Anyways, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys today. Jasmine coin, still a great play. I still have 600,000 Jasmine coin, maybe on the road to a million. But um, let me know what you guys think about this, uh, what you think about the lockup. Do you have any other information that I don't have? Um, and is it something that is confirmed? Because there's a lot of information that's out there that's not fact.
right? So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.